Hello ladies and germs. Um, this is just a quickie because um, I've had enough of um, builders telling prospective clients that if they use lime it's all going to be washed out or it won't even last a winter. And there are some people who rely on the knowledge of builders and they believe it and they, um, they're very suspicious of, of lime mortar. And the reason for that is because builders use what's called builder's lime, which is hydrated lime. Stonemasons use hydraulic lime, lime putty and quick lime. Um, hydrated lime is the least of the limes. It's usable if it's used fresh and you know you've got to know the right ratios to mix it to or mix it with and um, you know American hydrated lime is better than English hydrated lime you know I don't use it because it's it's not reliable enough some people use it and they have really good results for plastering and pointing but as a professional you know you you you, you don't right but the problem problem with builders is they think lime is lime is lime is lime and it's not because you've got natural hydraulic line 2, 3.5, 5, you've got line putty. Um, you can mix line putty 1 to 1, 1 to 2, 1 to 3. You can mix quick lime 1 to 2, 3 and 4. Um, you, you use different sands. So unless, we, unless you know what you're doing, the best thing to do is, is you know, uh, stay away from lime because you'll use the wrong NHL because it'll be from, uh, you know, it'll be from the wrong limestone. It'll be from a high clay content limestone uh, where you need lateral hydraulic lime, which is from a high silica, which has got a high silica content. But um, I just want to prove a point today, right? Now, this is, it's a bit embarrassing because you know, someone gave me some bricks a while ago and I could, and I threw them into a, I still haven't finished this barbecue actually, um, but um, someone gave me some, some, um, uh, some bricks and uh, I thought I must throw that in, uh, throw, throw that together and make a barbecue. I've got a bar gas barbecue now, so I'm never going to use this. I'm going to knock it down and I'm going to put it in someone's house as replacement bricks. But I used uh, some lime putty and a lot of people say lime putty is just too soft. Um, you know, builders would never use it. They, they run a mile away from it. You know, a lot of people think uh, uh, um, putty's too soft, so they use natural hydraulic lime. And like I say, I have people ringing me up saying, "My builders told me that if I if 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 I have if I have my lime if I have my wall built with lime, it's it's all gonna you know the way rain's gonna wash it out, right?" So, I've been power washing a pat, uh, me patio today, and uh, I just thought to myself, "Yeah, just for a little bit of an experiment, right?" I mean, we know what the pitter patter of rain sounds like. We know how lightly it falls on stone. Some people even get you know elevations which which are um, uh, um, let's see, what's the word? Um, I can't remember, but they just get uh, they get lo get loads of uh, bad weather um, and wind and rain and everything. So I've got a power washer here, and I thought, right, what I'll do is I'll show you the I'll show the good people on YouTube how easy it is to wash out um, a lime, a soft lime. Now this is putty with no porcelain in it whatsoever. It's just, it's one to three, um, and it's something which was just sitting around in a container for God knows how long, and I thought, I've got to get rid of that, because that, if, things, if things sit around for too long, I, I can't be, but I just, I just chuck them or use them up or something like that. So anyway, so here we go. Nail experiment, um, high pressure water jet on lime putty, no porcelain. Ready, here goes. see that's not coming out now then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this this jet uh, on uh, what I think is um, no, that's, a, that's a very fine bit um, I'm going to put it onto basically um, the, the not fine one at all and I'm going to see if I can actually blast some I mean I, I think I stand a chance but when you see how hard it is for me to actually blast some putty mortar out um, then um, 
you know, it, I hope, hopefully it'll give you a bit of confidence. Okay, so you get the picture, right? Now, like I say, this is thrown together. Brickies, don't laugh, because, I mean, you know it is thrown together. No spirit level, no string lines, no nothing. This here, right, this is natural hydraulic line, which was sitting around for God knows how long. And I've been reworking it and reworking it and reworking it and reworking it. Now, what happens is every time you re rework a natural hydraulic line, it loses some of its strength because it's dependent on a hydraulic set. Well, a lot of people think that once you've reworked a natural hydraulic line, that um, it's no good anymore. But I quite like reworking a natural hydraulic lime because it reduces its strength. Because hydro natural hydraulic lime, um, and, and even some natural hydraulic lime is like this, okay? Very loosely defined by EU standards. Um, and so, uh, so what you end up with is, um, there are some natural hydraulic lime 2s which are very close to a natural hydraulic 3.5, lime 3.5. There are some 3.5s that are very close to a 5. There are some NHL 5s that have got a higher free lime content than an NHL 3.5. So as soon as someone says, I want to use natural hydraulic lime 3.5, I just think to myself, you know, especially when people, because when, quite, because sometimes people will, um, they'll ring me up and just say, I've been given a quote, Mike, someone wants two grand and another one wants three grand for the same, for the same, um, the same bit of wall. Yeah, what do you think's the best one? And I'll say, well, what have they specified? And I said, what do you mean? And I'll say, well, what natural hydraulic lime have they specified? And they said, I don't know. And I'll say, because all natural hydraulic lime, all natural hydraulic limes are different. You know, you can get a natural hydraulic lime too, which is almost a natural hydraulic three point, uh, lime 3.5, you know, and, and then people say, oh, you know, I don't want to use natural hydraulic lime three, don't want to use natural hydraulic lime because it, because it sets really hard over time. So, well, yeah, I mean, it is, it is meant to set. Um, but, you know, there are some high, uh, natural hydraulic limes that are so high in free lime, um, there are some quick limes that have got so much potsilan in them that they're virtually the same. But anyway, so watch this. This is reworked and reworked and reworked natural hydraulic lime 3.5. You're never going to come across a storm like that. I, I, you know, I mean, okay, if you actually try and build something in a riverbed um, that's fast flowing, you're going to get something like that. Okay, so you know, when it, when 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 you when you when you get a quote for lime, know that lime is not lime is not lime. And when um, when a surveyor says, oh, you know, you read on your you, when you read on your um, what you call it on your survey that your surveyor said uh, that he recommends lime. Ring him up and tell him, and ask him which kind of lime he recommends. Start asking him, put these guys under a bit of pressure and start asking them about the free lime content. Which natural hydraulic lime, should, which, which, which lime should I use and why? Should I have hot lime? Should I have NHL? If I do have an NHL, should I have a 2, 3 or a 3.5? Should it come from argillaceous um, rock? Should it come from siliceous? Should I have a, should I have a, a, a St. Astia, a Hansen uh, or a Cecil? Um, and, um, you know, and, and, and if my contractor is come, going to come along and use uh, a particular lime, say, for example, he's going to use a lime putty, what mix should I be going with? Should I be going with a one to two or a one to three? Can I go one to four? If not, why not? And if I'm having quick lime, what's the benefits of having a quick lime mortar? Put them under pressure. Don't just accept lime from them. You know, you can see it irritates me, you know, what, what builders say, and it irritates me. Um, what surveyors and architects say because you would think that the people involved in the design of the build and the construction would at least have some basic rudimentary knowledge about ordinary bricks and mortar you know it would save us a hell of a lot of work explaining you know but anyway so that's that now you know when your builder says oh oh yeah it's just go you don't want to use that lime it's just going to wash out yeah, there's the evidence all right my lovelies thank you